I want to say one more thing about connection. And this is, I just want to give you a little bit more of a sample of how I personally um, go about thinking about connecting to the natural world, because this is the most, one of the most important types of things for me. And that is, and I think this is very important, and I've been thinking a lot about this, and the reason why I specifically want to share this is because in the time, being, time that I've been here at Hiram, I've been uh, observing and working with Professor Mabey's class on climate change. And I believe that one of the reasons why we have, as a human species, shown a great deal of disregard for things like climate, the world we live in, the air we breathe, is because we feel very disconnected from it. We're constantly living in a world where things are just magically there. We didn't grow the food, we bought it at the grocery store. Where does food come from? It comes from a grocery store. Um, where does paper come from? It comes from the supermarket, you buy paper there. We've, we've progressed so much in so many ways, and I'm not here to discount that, but our feeling of connection with where these things all ultimately come from, which is the natural world, the natural environment, our feeling of connection is really depleted. So there are different ways we can regain that. And one is to get out there and enjoy it and experience it. 